Good evening, people. Watch him at 65, Lisa Boyce. I'm going to give you a verse of scripture before I get into this article. It's out of Psalm 30. And it's just one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. It's simple. Those of you who are ill, going through whatever, chapter 30 of Psalm, verse 2. O Lord, my God, I cried unto thee, and thou hast healed me. When you're praying to the Lord, let me give you some a little bit of a uh, advice or you don't have to make long elaborate words to him. He knows you. He knows you're not like that. Just ask him for what you need and thank him for it. It's not rocket science again, folks. It's just simple faith. Let me give you the Gospels. In 1 Corinthians 15, 1 through 4, Christ shed his blood for all of our sins. Past, present, and future was buried and rose again on the third day according to Scripture. We're saved by grace through faith in Christ alone. Period. Not of ourselves, not of works, least any man should boast. It is grace, something we didn't earn, something we don't deserve, that God gave us only begotten Son, that whosoever believe in him will not perish, but have eternal life. The key word is believe in him. Shall not perish, but have eternal life. How do you come to that? You admit you're a sinner in need of Christ. The moment you put your faith and trust in Christ, the moment you accept Christ as Savior, not only are you saved, but you are justified by the blood of Jesus. You are rapture ready, which is going to happen at any time. Don't come along and let some demon whisper in your ear that it's not going to happen. The rapture is going to happen at any time. Satan already has the world wrapped up in his hand. Don't let him whisper in your ear. And you're sealed until the day of redemption, which means you cannot and will not lose your salvation. The Holy Spirit will indwell in you. The Holy Spirit will lead you, guide you, minister to you, encourage you, teach you, change you. That's what he does. Remember that article I did this morning about immigration? Well, this is off of Now the End Begins. Democrat Senator Dick Durbin told the illegal immigrants, we will make you citizens of the United States if you serve in our military. For some time now, one of the great conspiracy theories was that the Democrats were intentionally allowing the southern border to be overran so that the U.S. could be dismantled from the inside. They were right. Today, we find that Democrat Senator Dick Durbin wants to turn thousands, mostly Muslim illegals, mostly Muslims, into the U.S. border, into U.S. soldiers, rather, in exchange for making them immediate citizens. In publishing over 10,400 articles, he said since, 10, 000, since 2009, he's, this is uh, Jeffrey speaking, I have almost never used an explanation point in a headline today. Today I did it. It's that serious. This is bad on every level, folks. And this is another reason why I know that the rapture is near.
2 Timothy 2.4 says, No man that warreth entangleth himself with the affairs of this life, that he may please him who hath chosen him to be a soldier. 2 Timothy 2.4 Now it goes on to say that Durbin posts this on his own site. He says, do you know what the uh, recruiting numbers are at the Army, Navy, and Air Force? They can't reach their quotas each month. And they haven't been. They can't find enough people to join our military forces. And there are those who are undocumented who want the chance to serve and risk their lives for this country. Should we give them a chance? I think we should. This man is out of his ever-loving mind right here. This is insanity on every level. He goes, Dick Durbin goes on to say, we don't have enough medical personnel. And yet there are people all around this world that have credentials. When I was reading this, I was like, you've got to be joking. You have seriously got to be joking. Durbin continued, to resolve these challenges, we should create additional lawful pathways for immigrants to work in the United States. We should also give our undocumented population, most of whom have been here for decades, legal status. so that they can fully contribute to our society. I'm ready to negotiate with my Republican uh, colleagues in good faith to solve our problem at the border. I, it's one of those things where I'm I'm clueless as to what to say about this. I am really speechless about this. And you know what I believe? They're going to put this through. So now the end begins, says. Think hard. Take your time. It's not a trick question. What it is, is it's called the Cloward, Cloward Heaven 8-Step Plan. And this is an actual plan to decimate this nation via a fifth column attack. America has been circling the drain since hmm, Obozo. But when she finally goes, it will be with a very swift swoosh. Now, this is an actual plan. And he had talked about this a few months ago. And you can go, I'm going to link the article in the description box so you can go back and read about this plan. It's the Clover Pevin 8 step plan, eight step plan. And it's happening right now. And it's going to happen very quickly. This is, a, a, like I said in the beginning, this is another reason why I believe the rapture is right here. So. But the article this morning said that, um, The article I did this morning said that the border control bill collapsed. Well, they got to come up with another plan. And this, by golly, is their plan. <laughs> what are they going to do? It makes perfect sense. They don't have enough people in the military. They can't get their quota filled for the month. Navy, Army, Air Force... Marines, they can't do it. They're running out of options. 
I'm going to link this in the description box. And anything else comes up, I will be back on. Thank you.